Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to use Maple 18 to uh, do a nonlinear curve fit to some experimental data. Before we begin, let me just go ahead and scroll over and show you some sample data. Uh, here we have some values of x and values of y, and you can clearly see that uh, y decreases exponentially. So we're going to use this data set to do a nonlinear curve fit to an exponential uh, decay function. And uh, we'll also be able to uh, extract the various constants corresponding to the equation. So to begin with, we open the statistics uh, package. And to do that, just type in open statistics in parentheses, followed by a colon, and then hit enter. OK, now uh, the next step is to uh, enter the x and y values. And in Maple, uh, these are entered, entered as an array or, or vectors. So I'm going to go ahead and define my um, x vector values by typing x colon equals and then using the command vector open bracket. And uh, we, can, we can enter these values in manually uh, like this. Uh, but what I'm going to do instead is uh, paste the values directly in from Excel. So going back to my spreadsheet, uh, I can select the various X values, copy, and uh, paste them directly into Maple. And let me just go ahead and complete that parenthesis. And then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a code on the end of this, and that's just that prevents uh, Maple from uh, providing. Uh, repeating the information uh, when I hit enter. So uh, that's the x. Let's go ahead and put in uh, the uh, y vector. Uh, we do the same thing. I'm going to go over and select the uh, y values, copy, and paste them directly in. OK. Now, uh, now we have our uh, array of x and y values. The next step is uh, to enter the relevant equation. In this case, it's going to be an exponential, uh, an exponential decay function. So I'm going to define this expression using f colon equals. You could use a different letter; it doesn't have to be f. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, and write the equation down. Now there are two coefficients. Uh, that we're going to uh, need, and I'm going to just call them a and k. So a times the exponential minus k, I'll use small k, times the x values. Now, I'm not going to uh, put in the big x here because that's just an array of numbers. Uh, instead, I'll just call it t. And uh, so once we've entered the equation, hit enter, and we're ready to do our fit. So in order to do, to do the fit, we use the nonlinear fit command. Okay, and so we're going to fit our function f, and we're going to use x and y, those array of numbers, and also define our our uh, variable t. So once I've entered all this information in, you can clearly see that Maple has done the fit and uh, given us the values of a. Values of a are right here, the, the, the best fit value, and then uh, this here is going to be our k. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna it, it's often useful to see visually see what this function looks like and how it compares to the data. So I'm going to go ahead and plot this. Uh, instead of using the plot command, I'm just gonna right click on this and then uh, uh, just select plot and 2D plot. And so it will show us the nice exponential uh, um, <clears throat> uh, fit curve. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, modify the uh, the axis properties a little so that we can uh, see it a little better when we compare it to our data. So the horizontal axis range from 0 to something like 14. And then uh, our vertical, we can go ahead and uh, take it from a minimum of 0 
and a maximum of let's say 200 and then just hit OK to that and we can clearly see our graph here. Now we would like to compare this or superimpose our data points on this just to see how well that curve fits our data. So in order to do that what I'm going to do is generate a separate plot of the data and then uh, uh, add that data to, to this fitted line. So to do that just um, uh, type in plot x, y and this will simply plot our x and y values. Okay. Now uh, often we, we want to see the experimental data as points rather than a, a solid line so I'm just going to change this to uh, point and then uh, let's change our symbol to uh, something like solid circle. Okay, so that's our data. So I can go ahead and right click, copy, and uh, paste it directly into the above graph, and there you go, there you have it. So that's our uh, data, and uh, we've superimposed on that the, uh, the, the fitted curve. Okay, thank you very much for watching.